right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Tai Tuivasa. All right, here he is for my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Time. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live! from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, Weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Ty Bam Bam to Evolve. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. Ready. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Wow. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Muay Thai plump. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice hook. Straight right. Oh! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. That strike blocked by Tui Vasa. Just missed with the left there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Tui Vasa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just misses with the jab there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Beautiful hook. Joy gets caught with that punch. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Control this fight. Oh, collar tie. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Strikes have now landed for Tai Tuivasa. Tai Tuivasa gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Beautiful body kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Punch is blocked. Hands high, hands high. Hi, Tui Vasa gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts. But instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Right hand punch to the clinch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And he caught the kick. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that some... Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Liver kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Punch over the top. Warm sound for the end of round one. Oh, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends, 
his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice straight right, Lance. Whiffs on that offering. He loaded up on that right hand, too. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice right hand. Checks that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, Turibasa gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single hollow tie, and they separate. Just over three minutes to go. Unable to connect with the right. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. And they separate. Leg kick checked by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at the angle of that nice body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will... Oh! Oh! oh. Big diving punch lands. He's getting lit up right now, sir. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Tui Boss is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. 90 seconds remain in the round. Tui Boss is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Choi gets up. The question beckons, though, for how long he's... to go. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing. Oh! He's out! He got it! <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. 
So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout time! Bam, bam! Two, three, four, oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.